first five days at altitude done genuinely surprised at how i'm feeling did not expect it to be i'm on my way to the airport heading to flagstaff arizona for a month to live at 7,000 feet let's go Flagstaff, Arizona, the heck of a travel. I think it took us about 25 hours from leaving Manchester to getting to Phoenix last night and then stayed the night in the motel. Drove to Flagstaff this morning. We're now at 7,000 feet, which is about 2,100 and something meters. So pretty high. There's uh, <laughs> plenty of snow on the ground, as you can see. And I think we do some more snow, so it'd be interesting to see how that hinders the running up here. There's always the option to go on the treadmill, but it'd be nice to explore. I'm excited to take you with me while I adjust to altitude in this video. Take you through the first few days of training. It's Wednesday now, so I'm gonna film all the way up to Sunday, when hopefully we'll be adjusted and sort of semi-acclimatized so that we can do a fairly decent long run, hoping to get up to 13, maybe 14 miles, which it's gonna to be tough but we're just gonna take it easy get used to running <laughs> with less oxygen and yeah gonna have some serious fun get some fitness got a whole month to get the body super fit ready to come back home down to sea level and run crazy fast it's gonna be good i think we're gonna go run in about 20 minutes because it gets dark at four so we'll take you with me see what the ground's like and uh explore flagstaff <laughs> Heart rate 154. <laughs> Definitely at altitude. Love it. Yeah, what, what hurts more? Your lungs or your legs? Uh, definitely lungs at the moment. <laughs> My heart rate's not that high though, is yours? Yeah, it was, you get the first day for free, they say. So. You get the first day for free? Right. Yeah. What does that even mean? It means a bit What does it mean? I think you're just high on energy, so. Yes. From traveling I think and we're stuff. We're excited. Yeah. And then tomorrow we're gonna feel absolutely shit. <laughs> Yes! Six million! Yep, Vassenberg! You know what's gonna happen now, right? What? You're gonna be sleeping in your bed. <laughs> you're gonna be sleeping in your bed tonight. And the, I think you're the ceiling's gonna open up with snow. Like Being abused on this team. Um, 738. Max heart rate 163. Oh, there's a dog! Ouch. Average of 143 though, that's not bad. Could definitely feel the lack of oxygen, but first run done. Time to go and do a little bit of calf raises, look after my dodgy ankle, get some work done, and see how late I can stay up so that I can get rid of the jet lag. It is Thursday. <laughs> really had to think about that. We've got our first double run day today. It's about quarter past eight. Teaming up with Team New Balance Boston to show us the ropes. Hitting up the trailhead this morning for 50 minutes. Coach is being pretty cautious just because it's our second day running out here. Instead of running slightly over 50 minutes and running seven miles, we've capped it at like 6.3 or something like that. So, and then we've got a double run. So this evening we've got just a 30 minute jog. 50-30, absolute classic. So let's see how the lungs are. <laughs> It's 
All right, so top tip, when you have a protein shaker, this little thing, put the lid on it. Ah! Spillage is leakage. Yeah. <laughs> in 8 11 average let's have a look at the heart rate shall we zone one that's what we like to see average heart rate 140 max 165 so on these runs especially for the first few days I'm keeping my watch on the heart rate screen so that i can really keep an eye on that heart rate and try as best i can to stay in my normal easy zone which on flat land is sort of 140 to 145 sometimes it's a little bit lower sometimes it's a little bit higher but i usually finish with an average in the 140s so average 140 bang on today which is great as soon as you hit a little hill you've really got to keep an eye on that and just dial in the pace because it's really easy to just ramp up the heart rate because it just gets a lot harder so that's why the max heart rate of 165 is as high as it is but it's good that was a right mood that run four of us well helen came with us then four of us on the team pretty much absolute silence for the whole run it's just like we all had our afternoon nap death march <laughs> just get this little jog done we're done for the day more of the same tomorrow i love it love the grind love it <laughs> Another day, another 5 a.m. wake up. <laughs> Let's see how much snow we got. I don't want to wake everyone else up because not everyone else is waking up at 5 a.m. Let's have a look. It's freezing. I think we got about an inch, which isn't bad at all. We thought we were gonna get two or three inches, which was gonna make running on the other trail that we're going to today difficult. But one inch is fine. Happy days. I'm just on the ice, my foot. <laughs> I think that's class. That's a work of art. <laughs> okay, so everyone's having a go at me for being messy. And uh, I'm just gonna come clean. I'm not a tidy person. It's just not who I am. So this is the current situation. Uh, we've got Yip's side of the bed and Yip's. And then we kind of have this, um, situation it's just like it's a, it's a reflection of my mind right now it's just everything's a bit of a mess <laughs> no it's not i just i've never been able to keep anything tidy ever i don't know how to do it i just don't have time i'm gonna do it later i'm gonna do it later today i'm gonna clean the protein that i spilled in the car yesterday and i'll tidy the room i'll do it keep saying that for you're gonna convince yourself i'll do it i'll do it i'll do it feist i need to get ready for the run we're leaving in 20 minutes and i'm not ready I also, <laughs> whoa. I also feel the need to say that it is minus five outside. That is seriously cold, but it doesn't actually feel as cold as it would at home for those temps. I think it's because we're closer to the sun and if that's stupid, then I'm happy to be stupid, but it just doesn't feel cold. It doesn't feel as cold as back home. <laughs> Oh, maybe it's maybe the altitude is getting to me. Anyway, snow on the ground, sun in the sky, friends by my side. Let's go run for an hour. There's the group. Here's me. Just hanging back a little bit. My heart rate got up to 155 on the hill. So raining it in, keeping it easy squeezy. Also. I'm loving how this literally had snow on it on the way out and sun's melted it. So my white shoes are gonna be orange after this. Nice. Quick 
intermission to tell you about the sponsor of today's video, Yummos. These chocolate cookies are mm, delicious. These protein cookies, double chocolate, may I add, are new. I've been enjoying the Yummos products for quite a few months now. Started off with their cereals, packed with protein. Absolutely delicious. Definitely feels like more of a treat, but they're actually super healthy. High protein, vegan, pretty low calorie, and a fun way to eat protein. It doesn't have to always be a bar or a boiled egg in your pocket. These are also super tasty. I've been trying out microwaving them since I've been out here in Flagstaff. Having it with a cup of tea, so good. It feels like you're having like a gooey chocolate brownie, but you're actually recovering well, topping up your protein at the same time. They're really something different. So I encourage you to try them. The bars are amazing as well. I very nearly went over my luggage allowance by bringing my stash of yummos with me out here to Flagstaff, but absolutely no regrets. Priorities. At the moment, they've got a big sale on on the website and you can get yourself a free box of 12 of these insanely delicious cookies if you spend 50 pounds, which is a pretty big saving. These come in quite affordable and there's a discount and they're packed with protein and they're vegan and they're delicious. Thank you, Yummos, for sponsoring this week's video. Back to the grind. It's workout day. First day that we're not just easy running, we've actually got a workout. It's five by five minutes. Pretty chill. Oh look, a runner. A runner in the wild. Five by five minutes. I'm not sure where we're going yet. I think we might be going to the same place that we ran yesterday. It's called mailboxes. Although I didn't see any mailboxes. Wait a minute. I also feel like I didn't film much yesterday after the run. I was absolutely pooped, just knackered, flat out, partly jet lag, I think, but also just adjusting to the altitude. I think I've just been really tired. So had a lovely nap, also had a massage. That was really, really good. So grateful for Molly being on this trip. Chill rest of the day yesterday, then got a nice early night. And today I didn't wake up at five or 6 a.m. <laughs> I actually woke up at seven, which is an acceptable hour. So hopefully that's the end of the early mornings, thanks to the jet lag. I'm looking forward to getting my eight hours in because it's needed. Eight hours a night plus a nap, that's nine hours. Quick maths. Quick maths. That's good recovery. Uh, anyway, we're rambling on. I am gonna finish getting ready and take you along for this workout. See how painful it is. <laughs> What was the feels like temperature this morning? Minus nine. Oh, why am I not wearing more clothes? What are you thinking pace wise? Like, are we adjusting down? Oh, that was very cautious. I don't care if it's six thirty pace. I was gonna say, what's very cautious? That. <laughs> and like, do you want us to go off heart rate or? Well, keep an eye on your heart rate because it starts going crazy. Yeah. And I'm gonna recover it. If you have to walk, walk. So you just like feel like you're tempoing at sea level. Yeah. I'd now go high steady feel. High steady feel. Yeah. Okay. Woo! First Seshwari Nan done! That actually went pretty well, which I'm surprised about. But we did hold ourselves back. I was expecting it to be super painful. We just held ourselves back. Coach really got us to just dial it back down. Heart rate low. And supposedly it's like 20 to 30 seconds per mile at altitude, especially for the first session. So we're aiming to be in that sort of high steady region, which for me is usually like six minute miling. So we're sort of stuck in like the 620 to 630 range. And it felt pretty easy. Heart rate was where it would have been at sea level for six minute miling. So I think we were in the right place. But yeah, we just locked in, super peaceful on that road, just straight out, straight back. It's almost silent while you're running and all you can hear is the sound of your own footsteps and the breathing of everyone else around you. It was good. But I am starving now. So I'm gonna get some food and have a nap. I'll catch you later. Eat, sleep, 
run, repeat. So we're not running, we're gymming. So sleep, eat, run, eat, sleep, eat, gym. Wouldn't normally gym on a workout day. However, this week's been a little bit different to a normal week just because of the travel. So getting in a gym today, I actually went to the gym on Monday, the day before we traveled. So I think it'll be a lighter sesh, just get a lift in, get some key exercises in, do some rehab, pay attention to those sort of risk areas. Long run tomorrow. And then next week, I think we're gonna fall into our usual routine. Workout Tuesday, Friday, gym Wednesday, Saturday, easy run the rest of the time, and maybe even have a rest day in there. Mm, who knows? Anyway. First, we lift. to a close. What a day. Workout, gym, nap, dinner. Pretty, pretty packed day. Gym wise, kept it light. Wouldn't normally go to the gym on a workout day and it's our first week at altitude. So then we went straight to Walmart after the gym to get the ingredients for dinner. A lovely cheesy pasta bake. And now it's 10 o'clock, which is why I'm filming in the bathroom because it's time to go to bed to get up for the long run tomorrow, the long anticipated long run. And we'll see if coach will let us do 13 miles. We've been pestering her all week because <laughs> we really want to do 13 miles, but it says 11 on the plan. And we've got to be careful because it's first week you're adjusting, but kind of feel ready to do 13. We'll see. Night. Meet. Feel. Fit check. Teach on my crotch. I'm gonna test out some shoulders today. Supposedly, it's warmer where we're running today. So I'll believe it when I see it. I'm taking shorts with me. Probably won't wear them. However, I believe that if there is even an inch of sunlight, this girl will be wearing her shorts. I'm gonna go, shorts! Yeah, that's the moon! Thank you. It's long run day, the day we have all been waiting for. We're still in suspense about how long we'd be running for this morning. Plan says 11 miles. As long as we run slow, I I personally see no issue with it. This gonna go easy. 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 Easy does it. And um, where are we going? Wet Beaver Creek, baby. So it is a 45 minute drive. Hence, it's quarter to seven and we're leaving in 15 minutes. That's what I said. I said quarter to seven. It's quarter to eight and we're leaving at eight. So I need to put my stuff in a bag and uh, get ready to go. Long run day. Well, this is a little bit different. It's crazy. We've literally driven 40 minutes, obviously down. I don't know how low this is in comparison to flag, but it's at least 10 degrees warmer and everything just looks different. I mean, there's no snow on the ground, obviously, just the surroundings. I think this is more sort of like Sedona area, stunning like orange rocks as we were driving down. I feel like such a tourist, like taking videos out the car, but excited for this run. done we got to the end of the week in one piece feeling pretty good actually 12.4 miles it's not 13 but close enough did 90 minutes exactly so not actually sure what pace that is average seven something but more importantly average heart rate of 150 in a good place definitely got a little bit carried away at the start just chatting to some of the other runners coach came up and asked me what pace we were running. I looked down, didn't actually realize what we were going at 6.35s. <laughs> and she said, absolutely not. Dragged me back <laughs> to the group. Um, she's totally fair enough. Keeping it easy, just really being careful this week. And then hopefully next week, the real fun begins. Stick around for that. Love the grind. <laughs> 